project ideas using GSM model. Now, this GSM model is very similar to the mobile phone. The difference is that mobile phone is operated by human being and GSM model is operated by microcontrollers or microprocessors. So in general, the system will look like this. We have a microcontroller. And this microcontroller is having serial port DX and RX ground. We have to connect max 232. This is what a chip which will convert TTL signals into RS232. So it is a TTL to RS232 converter. We can connect GSM model like this. So in this way microcontroller can able to communicate with model on serial port. So in basic applications we can have some sensors here. That sensors are interfaced with microcontrollers to the suitable port. This GSM model will be having a SIM card. Very similar that SIM card we insert into mobile phone. Here also we can insert a SIM card. It has got antenna. It may need power supply. It may be plus 12 volt power supply. We have to give external power supply to the model. So in this way, a basic system will be there. So microcontrollers can communicate with sensors and suppose there may be temperature sensor, shock sensor, something like that. And that information microcontroller can send to some remote mobile phone using model. In this case, microcontroller will can send SMS, can receive SMS. Okay, it communicate with GSM model with the help of something called as AT commands. So we have to operate or we have to give the AT commands on the serial port. Okay, now we will see the practically how to test a GSM model. Suppose we don't have microcontroller and all this hardware, still we want to test the GSM model. In that case, we can take help of PC. So we have a personal computer here. And your personal computer generally nowadays we have a USB port. So we need a hardware USB to COM converter. And here we have a COM port DB9 connector. And to this COM port we can connect GSM model and we can pass on AT commands from PC to GSM model. If you are talking of operating systems like Windows XP, it has got something called as hyper terminal. With the help of hyper terminal, we can send commands from PC to GSM model. Now we will see practically how we can say it or how can we how we can test the GSM model. So once your testing is done, you can shift to the hardware. You can implement this hardware, you can interface GSM model, and you can communicate with other mobile phones with the help of microcontrollers. Now we'll see the practical demonstration of GSM model and communication of GSM model with PC and how to give how to pass on the IT commands and all that. So we have GSM modem here and here you can see a SIM card has been inserted and this is what here I can plug a power supply. 
so I have a 12 volt power supply this is an adapter 12 volt adapter here so that 12 volt power supply is given here and sim card has been inserted now what is this I have USB to COM converter so this cable goes to the USB port of PC and from this I have this is a DB9 connector so this DB9 connector is connected to the DB9 connector of GSM model now see this is USB this is coming from USB and this is now converted to COM and this COM port is connected to COM port of GSM model so in this way my hardware is ready so I can test I have already means I have interface this GSM modem with the help of USB to COM to my PC and how to use the hyper terminal now see this is a Windows XP and have, I have something called hyper terminal here see I have to go into accessories here in accessories you can find a communication and in communication you can find a hyper terminal so this is programs accessories communication and hyper terminal so right now I have a shortcut here hyper terminal so I can open a hyper terminal but prior to that I have to see on which port my USB to COM converter is configured so this I can check I can right click on properties of computer and I can go into the hardware in device manager in device manager I have ports here here look at this silicon lab CP210 USB to UART bridge See, this is my listing of USB to COM converter now it is available at COM2 this you should check where it is available it may be at COM1 also or in other systems it may be at COM12, COM13 so you have to note down where it is available so this, this information is useful at the time of setting a hyper terminal now I will just close so I have noted that my USB to COM converter is available at COM2 so this is a shortcut I will open a hyper terminal now it opens a new connection for me suppose I will give a name to new connection as EEE -E -E, ok then it asks me which port see I am interested in COM2 why I am interested in COM2 because my USB to COM converter is available at COM2 then I will press ok here it asks me for baud rate so standard baud rate is 9600 bits per second data bits 8 no parity one stop bit and flow control none so this is what this is protocol with the help of this protocol PC will communicate with GSM modem this is a standard protocol baud rate standard baud rates are 9600 and all these things so I will just apply and I will press ok now it is giving error actually my old uh, I have to close my previous hybrid terminal I will repeat the procedure actually this is what already I have connected a hyper terminal so here I can give command 80 so when I press 80 I get a ok this ok is coming from GSM modem to PC so in this way if 80 is given and ok is coming it indicates that your modem is working properly I can give a message I can send a message suppose I want to send a message to some mobile number from this modem ok you should check whether the your sim card is having a balance or not there should be balance here in the sim card suppose for that the command is 80 plus cmgs is equal to we have to give the mobile number suppose plus 9198224089330 this is my mobile number ok so I will just write down the mobile number and I will press enter then this prompt comes ok I will type my message suppose my message is hi how are you ok then I will press enter then I will have to give control z command so once the control z is given 
that message will be transmitted okay and if the message is transmitted successfully you will get um, something cmgs12 it indicates that message has been transmitted to some uh, whatever mobile number you have given